Broadcasting from Manhattan Beach and the World Wide Web, you're listening to CHSR, HealthyLife.net. As a service to our listeners, this program is for general information and entertainment purposes only. CHSR HealthyLife.net does not recommend, endorse, or object to the views, products, or topics expressed or discussed by show hosts or their guests. We suggest you always consult with your own personal, medical, financial, or legal advisor. And welcome back to the Dr. Teresa Nicasio Show. This is a place of inspiration, education, and hope for a kinder, healthier, and more sustainable world. On this program, we talk with courageous thought leaders about the things that matter most to you and explore practical solutions to the toughest and sometimes hardest to talk about and controversial problems we're all facing. Uh, today's program is made possible because of the generous support of our wonderful show sponsor, New Roots Herbal, the Canadian makers of high-quality non-GMO health products we know we can trust. To learn more about this terrific company, um, uh, more about them and what they have to offer, visit their website at New Roots Herbal. Herbal.com. If you'd like to advertise or be a sponsor for this show that has a reach of well over 300,000 monthly listeners, contact me directly through my TeresaNicasio.com website. And again, that's Teresa with an H, T-H-E-R-E-S-A, Nicasio with an N like Nancy, I-C-A-S-S-I-O.com, and that website. And I'd love to talk with you about possibilities. I still have spots for plenty of spots for um, uh, uh, segment sponsors and so forth and other advertising spots. Be sure to tune in next time when we'll be continuing with our Sustainable Living series with a very special guest, the leading zero-waste blogger, Catherine Kellogg. Can't, can't wait to have her on. Um, uh, she's going to be ta- here talking about ways we can reduce or even have zero waste uh, for this coming holiday season if you celebrate uh, anything for the holidays. This is a show I've been wanting to offer you for a really long time. I've been thinking about it, and um, you're going to love Catherine. I'm thrilled that she's taking time out of her busy schedule to join us for two sessions. We've never done that before. We've, this is going to be a two-part series with this one guest. Um, our program today is a unique bridge. Um, this is this is going to be a fun one, guys. Um, anyway, it's both part of our Empowered Health series, which we are sort of coming to a close with, although we always come back to it anyway, but that's okay. Um, but it's also part of our Sustainable Living series. Andy Lopez, our guest today, is with us to teach us about how to manage garden pests. You know, those fleas, mosquitoes, mites, all those things that agitate us, but to do so in a non-toxic, safe, and sustainable way. There's so much controversy about uh, what we can do and what needs to be done in order to to grow things organically, and and Andy is brilliant demystifying all of that. Um, And and you're going to see, as you listen more to Andy, in addition to having a ton of terrific practical pest control DIY tips, I love DIY, Ian, I don't know about you, uh, but Andy's um, understanding of pets and understanding of plant health, soil health, and disease um, really parallels a lot of what we've been talking about in some of our other empowered health shows uh, with the integrative and functional medicine um, doctors and their approach to human health. Um, like, you know, we've heard from Dr. Jill Carnahan, Dr. David Miller, Dr. Jessica Renfer, Dr. Alessio Fazzano, and even the Gluten Free RN, his last show, uh, with Nadine Grzdowiak. Um, so it's, it's really interesting, the parallels. I think uh, this won't, this won't, get, you won't miss this. It's pretty, gonna be pretty clear. And just as a teaser for a future interview that's like, I don't know, eight, nine, ten months down the road, but already scheduled, we have the, the privilege of having uh, Dr. Philip Gregory coming to the show, and he's going to be digging deeply into the topic of soil health and human pain. We're going to be looking at pain and addiction in the new year as well, and he's going to be doing a very unique angle on the soil health and human pain. You're going to love it. Uh, it's going to be unique. You've probably never thought about this or realized the connection, and uh, you're going to want to mark your calendars for that show as well. But I want to talk about and give a very official uh, introduction to today's guest. Uh, we are privileged to have one of the most respected pioneers 
of the modern organic movement today with us. It's like people wondering, where does this all begin? Now, obviously, organic farming and growing has been going on for a long time, but somehow we lost ourselves in the Industrial Revolution and such. So, um, uh, you know, it's, it, it took pioneers to bring us back, back home. So here's a bit about today's guest. Uh, growing up in Puerto Rico, Andy Lopez's seed of inspiration came from his mom, who grew her own fruits and vegetables naturally. Since then, Andy has been committed to educating others and helping solve the world's environmental problems by offering alternatives to chemical products that are typically used in the home and the garden, not to mention typically toxic to us. Um, we're definitely seeing like such a rise in cancers and other things. It's, it's time for us to come back to nature, come back to come back to what we're meant to do. Among tons of accomplishments, Andy has served as a consultant for amazing organizations like the World Health Organization uh, and the Department of Agriculture. He has served on the board of directors of the Horticulture Society of Florida and the Rare Fruit Council. He's been featured in and publishes articles in publications like Sunset Magazine, Southern California Home and Garden, the Miami Herald, Acres USA, Organic Gardening, Horticulture Digest and Eco Farm Rodelli's uh, newest gardening book. Um, you may uh, also recognize Andy from his appearances on PBS on New Garden with two current shows called Andy's Ant Secrets and Organic Tree Care. You'll see that Andy, he's, he's got a very special, unique with ants. He likes to dance with them. <laughs> Called the king of compost, Andy's claim to fame, and what he's here to share with us today is his wisdom uh, as, a, as the go-to, really, for natural pest control. And he's served uh, over 200 clients, uh, many of which have been um, people you, you know well from the entertainment industry, like Martin Sheen, William Shatner, Eddie Albert, Max Call, and Olivia Newton-John. Makes you want to dance there, thinking about Olivia. Andy has published over 20 books about natural pest control. We're talking major prolific guy here and organic gardening with his most recent release, Don't Panic, It's Organic, being his crown jewel as the ultimate DIY practical and comprehensive resource of everything you need to know to understand and successfully manage your garden and pests without the use of any pesticides or other toxic chemicals. I know that was a mouthful. There's so much more I could say about you, Andy, but no, we'll stop there. I want to thank you so much for joining us today, Andy. Are you there, Andy? Hello, Andy. I think we may have just lost him. I heard a click during that intro. Oh, it sounds like we lost him. Um, let's see. Hopefully we'll, hopefully we'll get him back. Um, I guess I'll just uh, carry on a little bit until we get Andy back on, and hopefully he will be... Uh, phoning back in. Um, Andy is, he wrote this, I'll tell you a little bit more about this book. Well, um, he's, he's there. It's this, this is, he has, I mentioned he's written like over 20 books. Uh, this book is, um, this Don't Panic, Don't Organic is, is kind of like my book Yum, only even longer. It's got almost 400 pages here. And it really compiles the, the bulk of, like, I haven't read all the other books, obviously, but it, it pulls everything together, whether it's lawn care, whether it's um, um, pest control for our pets, uh, whether it's um, tree care, lawn care, garden care, dealing with things like aphids, mites, frogs, ants, snails, slugs, tigs, gophers, um, fleas, bed bugs. Uh, mobs, white flies, uh, mites, fruit flies, ants, and so forth. Lots and lots of things. Um, and it's really, really a treasure tradition. And I understand our guest is back. Hi, Andy. Welcome back. Hi, I'm sorry. I can't fly a plane and, and be on the phone at the same time. I don't think you should be flying a plane at the same time as you're on the phone. Well, I'm glad you're back, Andy. I just want to let you know. So while you were uh, while we were missing you, I was giving a, a bit of an overview of your book, Don't Panic, It's Organic, and uh, it also it um, it relates to a lot of what we're going to be talking about today. So. Um, can, can we just start, Andy, with, uh, you know, I usually like to ask my, my um, guests about their why, but I'd like to twist this up a little bit. And um, because and there's a whole lot of talk about treating the Mother Earth as a, uh, uh, 
a, a, a being worthy of, of being protected, even under the law. And I thought it's a perfect opportunity if you would be willing to share with our, with our listeners today um, a, a little bit about the Earth's perspective uh, and, and why, about why organic and natural pest control and organic farming is so important. Look, I started early on in my youth, like in the sixth grade. I was always a good gardener. And uh, people would come over to my parents' house and say, what's going on here? And they said, we'll talk to Andy. So I, had, I ended up with a next-door neighbor. I had 150 customers by the ninth grade, okay? Uh, and I was never really a gardener. My whole thing was, gee, uh, gee this, this, you know, because I've learned right from the beginning it's the soil, it's the earth. I tell people the earth is the skin of, you think of it as your skin, uh, the topsoil. And uh, as an arborist, uh, what I do is so different because what I tell people is, okay, you're an arborist. What part of the tree is connected to the earth that we're not getting? <laughs> and so all diseases and pests originate from the soil, the earth, just like in our body. I do a show called The Body in the Garden. Uh, the, the, the microbiology in the stomach is really, really evolved from the microbiology in the soil. And so everything yeah. everything's keyed into the soil. And on top of that, it's a living organism. It's, a, it's, a, it's the world's greatest gardener. It's, it's, in the, it's, it's in the beginning of the food chain and the end of the food chain. When you die, guess what? You get eaten up. And so it wants you to be healthy because that's how it, 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 it's healthy. And it, it feeds, literally feeds the trees and feeds the plants and keeps everything healthy. And the whole system is based upon being healthy. And as soon as you're not healthy, then it, it triggers other things like ants and diseases and pests. So the soil, I, I have a... a a variety of different things I do. One of the things I do is write music. So I write music that's tuned into the, the frequencies and the energies of the soil. Uh, it's called inner gardening. And it's meant for the soil to listen, but it turns out that living beings and plants can listen to it too because it's our, our harmony that the earth needs. So the earth is a living organism. It, 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 it's, it, it's, for lack of other, any name, there's lots of different names you want to call it. Uh, mycelium is just kind of a scientific name of it. It's a living organism that lives in the soil, and that's his job. Her job is to take information, and not only in food, but information. That's how trees talk, for example, how plants communicate with each other through this mycelium network. It's really very interesting because human beings, all living things evolved from that uh, network. Yeah, you know, I saw a, um, a a documentary about mycelium some time ago, and they're talking about how fungus, you know, the role of uh, fungi, and and um, and how they actually communicate, how these plants, uh, how they talk to each other, and and that's something that I'm really interested about. You you, know, you talk a lot about how um, even the bugs, uh, you know, so the, the plants uh, uh, communicate with each other, but even you know, we talk about pests. So we're talking about pests, and people, some of you listening are probably thinking, why are we talking about the soil? Well, and we're supposed to be talking about those bugs that agitate us. And, um, but there's a real connection. And can you talk a little bit about that and how the bugs know that there's disease or there's problems one of, or issues? One of my books is called Dances with Ants. So in the sixth grade, that's the first thing I got. The first caller, a lady calls me up. She says, I have no idea. Do I have an ant problem? When I went over there, I said, lady, the ants are basically telling you something. <laughs> They're telling you that you have a sick tree over here, and, and that when the, when the tree becomes sick, then it becomes food for the insects. The insects have evolved. There's this evolution that's not just happened between the insects, but the insects, the soil, the trees, they've all have evolved to co co-work together. Really, really, really interesting. And so human beings, we have... Uh, we've evolved, but we somewhere along this the line, the line decided not to co-work together. So we're not even in touch with how communication system works of uh, the Earth, so how the mycelium communicates, uh, how trees communicate, for example, with each other. Lots of different ways to communicate, and, and we have the capability of actually tuning into that and listening to what you're saying. That's why I call it dances with ants. You don't want to kill off the ants. <laughs> They're the messenger. They're the actually good guys. They're the earth gardeners. When something goes wrong, they key into it. They it it key into stress, just like in the human body. When you get stressed out, that's when you're going to get attacked by one disease or another. Same thing with the trees. When the trees get stressed out, then the bugs go, oh, boy, party time, right? And the disease come on and everything happens. And mm -hmm. the way we're geared now, it's just like in medicine, keep taking that junk food but take this pill. Right, mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's the same thing with the soil. It's like keep using these chemical fertilizers and this stuff. Uh, that's fine, and then, but you have to use this pesticide to kill that bug because it's, 
And if we told you the truth, you wouldn't be doing this stuff. Right, see? right. And what's interesting, you talk about, we, we see symptoms and we, we oftentimes confuse, and as a psychologist, I see this as well. Um, when people see symptoms as the problem and you attack the problem, you know, whether it's anxiety, whether it's depression, and yes, those are very unpleasant things, just like having ants crawling everywhere is, is unpleasant. Um, right. but it's, but it's really important information and it's, you know, you don't want to shoot the messenger. Uh, you want to look right. at the underlying problem and that's what you've been, uh, again, during this it's Law, cost, and effect. Yes. Law, cost, and effect. Yes. So when you when you talk about, um, you know, associated with this, and again, folks, later in the show, just so you know, we have tons and tons of practical how-tos coming um, uh, with regard to, you know, using that Tabasco or whatever you're going to use in the garden. Um, but for this segment, it's for you get to the, uh, the reason, the rationale is really important, the underlying uh, rationale for some of this. Um, can you talk a little bit about, um, so as you're talking about the infestation problems in the garden, can you talk a little bit about issues of around like balance of bacteria, maybe um, a little so, bit about so what's minerals. Happening is uh, that, uh, so, so, mm -hmm. so what's happening is that over the millions of years, we have evolved a, a specific way of handling food. And when I mean by food, I mean it's all about trace minerals. Just like in the human body, that needs over 96 different trace minerals. Well, guess what? Plants and trees need 96 different trace minerals. And, and so everything has evolved to where how efficiently we get that trace metal into our system. And when that trace metal start, stop coming in in the right proportion, then everything that kicks in, the universe says, where well, you're dying. <laughs> and you're mm -hmm. now food for the system that cleans you up. It's like and, malnourished, and so, it sounds like. And when the, you're malnourished, you're vulnerable. Right. Exactly. And, but the way we have decided to do business is like, uh, because it's based upon money, not so much based upon actual reality of things. But the way we do business now is that we, we, we need to feed ourselves. So we're, we're masters of the universe. We can do whatever we want. And if we in order to, to feed everybody, you can't do it organically. So we're going to have to reintroduce chemical fertilizers to make you grow more and grow faster. And then we have to do the pesticides to control the diseases in the pest. And this is normal the way you do business. And, and and that's not the the, the 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 answer at all because you, it's great for business, right? You know, it's great. Keep doing the junk food, but take my this pill, I and mean, I'll sell you this pill as often as you want. But you can get it delivered to you every month, right? The same right. thing with pesticides. Like you, the same thing with well, ants. If we keep you sick, you know, then we you never control. Your business. You never will eliminate the ants. You <laughs> never will eliminate. You can kill them all you want to. More ants will show up and take their place. That's not the solution. It's great for the pest control company, great for somebody who's selling the pesticide. doesn't work in the long run, uh, you know. But <laughs> so what I learned early on in my youth is why does this happen? Because we, you know, when we become food, when, when the plants and trees become food for insects, what happens? Uh, why do insects not, not attack, why do pests not attack trees that are healthy? What's going on there? What's the difference, right? Mm -hmm. And so in my, in my youth, I've always been a scientist, so in my youth I, I figured it out. Because I've learned about why do we make compost in the first place? People mm -hmm. say, well, we're recycling. No, we're making compost to imitate Mother Nature because we realize down the road that we're taking stuff out and somebody's got to start putting stuff back in again. That's what soil depletion is all about, mm -hmm. right? Mm-hmm. When you the also talk about... Human body. That you talk about the live the live organisms as well that are so important whether it's in the compost or the or the you know right. the so worm one of the reasons why we make the compost one of the ways you're supposed to make compost you're supposed to be putting these live organisms back into the into the composting process I tell people you need to add <coughs> compost and rock dust rock dust is a source of minerals it's called remineralization Mother Nature has a way of remineralizing the earth there are lots of ways and people are saying well you know we don't need to, need to do anything to trees or this take care of the stuff. Well, the problem is that human beings have stopped the natural cycle of everything happening. We have put up fences. We have all kinds of stuff. I tell people, oh, when's the last time a, an animal came and died under your tree? Mm -hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, 
So there's the rock dust. There's also the uh, one of those things you talk a lot about in um, uh, you know in lots of places is about your about the um, bacterial imbalance and and just you know the microbiome. And when when the microbiome, just like with us, is out of whack, then the um, then certain bacteria start to take over and, and run the show and not necessarily doing things that that are helpful to us, right? right? I tell people that the good guys and the bad guys don't live in the same place. Right, and that's again just like just like us. And we, but we need a balance of, of a little bit of this and a little bit of that. But we don't want anybody, you know, coming in as Rambo, um, <laughs> Rambo bacteria in our in our in our. And that's uh, what happens that when you use a chemical fertilizer. <coughs> Uh, it literally destroys the good guys, and the bad guys move in first. And that's why you get diseases. All those diseases in trees and insects are found in the soil, just like in the human body. The diseases, all those diseases are there waiting for the right conditions to mm-hmm. take all over. Right. And the other thing you mentioned was about nitrogen, too. I know we need to be going to a break here, but uh, maybe we can start with uh, with the nitrogen. But um, uh, and, and talking about, you know, most of us have heard about something called miracle Grow, and uh, I'd like to start next segment maybe about that, but then get right into um, next segment about um, the pests that we often find in our home and garden and, and how we can use even, like, food in our in our own kitchens to help fight things sure. like aphids no and, and mites and ticks and frogs and slugs. All right. <laughs> I love it. Okay, perfect. Okay, folks. Well, stick around. We this is gonna this is you are not gonna believe. We have so much to cover. So be sure to uh, come right back and um, right after the a few messages from our sponsor. Acidophilus Ultra from New Roots Herbal is your go-to product for great health. To maintain potency, Acidophilus Ultra is protected by a natural water-based enteric coating. This daily probiotic supports your health in so many ways. It helps boost your immune system, aids digestion and bloating, and that's just for starters. So remember the name, Acidophilus Ultra from New Roots Herbal. Get some now. To find a store near you, visit NewRootsHerbal.com. That's NewRootsHerbal.com Audiobooks gives you instant access to over 50,000 of the best sellers and hottest book titles in romance, mystery, fiction, and many other genres. Just visit HealthyLife.net's advertiser page and click on Audiobooks to get started. YumFoodForLiving.com is the place to get easy, allergy-free recipes, all free of sugar, gluten, and dairy. But that's not all you'll get when you visit YumFoodForLiving.com. You'll get resources for all kinds of things like wellness articles, videos, podcasts, a blog, all to help you create easy, healthy living. There's even a 50-page downloadable book introducing you to the philosophy of yum. Don't wait. Visit YumFoodForLiving.com. YumFoodForLiving.com. That's YumFoodForLiving.com. If you like to spend your television viewing time learning about some of the things that you may have missed in history class, or if history was your favorite subject, then you should check out the link to the History Channel on the HealthyLife.net advertiser page. Order DVD sets by series or by subject matter right from our homepage while you still enjoy your favorite HealthyLife.net show. Being inspired by a speaker while learning everyday positive information that you can use to help your life is exactly what Dr. Teresa Nicasio does when she speaks in front of your group. From healthcare professionals to special needs parenting and everything in between, Dr. Teresa Nicasio can customize topics for your group on everything from health to psychology. To book Dr. Teresa Nicasio as a speaker for your group, visit yumfoodforliving.com or call 604-445-6463. That's 604 604- Four four five six four six three. You're listening to HealthyLife.net, the radio network that brings positive talk with positive change to make your world a little better. Guys, welcome back to the Dr. Teresa Nicasio Show. We are here today with the compost king, invisible gardener, Andy Lopez. Now, before we get into, we were just talking about the, the microbiome of the soil and how it affects pests. We're talking pests today, garden pests, household pests. 
And uh, before we do that, though, we're during break. I can't believe this. Andy has made a, an incredible offer for all of you listening and anybody who goes to the website, uh, the, his page here, the profile page, um, is if you go to his page and give him your email, and he'll, he'll tell you more info here, he's offering an entire free, this 400-page book, ebook. he's offering it to you for listeners for free. You just have to mention this show, and you'll get the entire book for free. Is that right, Andy? Not only that, but I'll make them a free lifetime member, which then allows them to get access to all the other 21 ebooks as well. Oh my God! Okay, guys. So this is thank you. This Andy is—he's really trying to make a difference on the planet and educating people. And um, I just—I just bow to you, Andy. Thank you so much for that. Uh, so well, be you sure are if you too. go to I love what you're doing. Yeah. Oh, this is so good. So um, again, you just go to TeresaNicasio dot com website. You'll see Andy right on right right there. Uh, or, or if you go and if you can't find it right on the front page, then you'll find it if you're there right today live. You definitely will. Um, but you, you click on the Teresa uh, Nicasio show page and just click on his page in you know, his name um, on that listing, and you'll see the page and it'll have all the information. His website. It'll have all the information about his social media links. Facebook, Facebook, Instagram, all that, so you can follow him, like him, um, and learn every, you know, more things than you can imagine from him. So thank you. Uh, let's let's get back to business here. So right before before the break, um, I just wanted I, I've watched as you'll see there's a lot of his videos as well on on the TeresaNicasio.com website of this page. Uh, I, I just I, I just ate them up alive. They're crazy good um, and whimsical. You were talking about. Um, uh, nitrogen and 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 you know the effect of you know we we think we put all this nitrogen in the, in the soil and some is important but but when we get things like Miracle Grow can you talk a little bit about um, how that affects the soil and the plants and hence think of the it plants. as cocaine for plants. <laughs> Pardon? Uh, think of it as cocaine for plants. Cocaine for plants. <laughs> cocaine that for that plants. doesn't sound so promising in the long term. A, you know, coming down is not going to be easy, and that's what happens. It causes a lot of stress. It destroys the natural bacteria in the soil. On top of that, high nitrogen inhibits the plant's ability to absorb minerals. Mm. So you're setting yourself up by, it causes rapid growth in, in trees. People, you know, they want things instantly. So I want to do something in the, I want to sprinkle something on my lawn. And within the hour, I want to see it all turn beautiful green color and just start growing on me really fast. But there's a problem with that, and that's not the way it works in nature. And uh, and so you're setting yourself up to have all these diseases and pests, which then you're going to have to use some pesticides to control because the organic system won't work because the organic system is based upon a completely different system entirely to work. So the, the high nitrogen, the whole thing about using high nitrogen a long time ago was really very bad in the sense that we do so much damage to the soil just by putting that. It's a salt. Uh, the Roman times, the way the Romans, when they conquered other, other countries, they salted the earth so they couldn't grow. Well, this is a salt. It's basically a salt. And, <laughs> and on top of that, the plants only use a small amount of that nitrogen. The rest of it ends in the water, ends up in the ocean, ends up in other places not supposed to be. Mm -hmm. See, like it, with food, we eat all this junk food. Think of it as sugar. High <laughs> massive. The new type of sugar now is genetically engineered modified sugar. They, they were going to call it uh, this. It, you, you will die if you eat this sugar. That was the name of it. They said, well, we may need to change the name to something more wonderful. <laughs> but mm -hmm. it's, it's a modified sugar that's a thousand times more powerful than any sugar you've ever eaten. And your body goes nuts with it. Your, your microbiome in your body uh, doesn't under, uh, know how to deal with all this stuff. So it causes right. stress. And that's the whole thing. Yeah, well, and I know with diet. sugar, as m many of you may not know, I don't remember how many hours, but apparently every time we have, like, table sugar, uh, our immune system is, is uh, depressed for um, several hours, actually. But, um, but yes, let's jump into some of the, some of the uh, more practical stuff here, uh, Andy. Um, talking about garden pests, let's start with aphids. That's a pretty common one. Um, what are some things that people might be able to... You know, get out of their own, you know, from their own kitchen and maybe grocery store or, or hardware store. Uh, they can help with something like, let's start with the aphids. Okay, so first of all, you need to understand law of cause and effect. So using these other things is not dealing with the effects at all. 
and you're going to be keep doing that for the rest of your life, more or less. It won't solve the problem. I've learned that from experience. I've learned that certain things will work. You know, uh, there are lots of natural soaps you can buy, lots of products. You can run through a natural. I go to a whole uh, natural uh, organic place now rather than a grocery store. But you can run through any grocery store and look at any items. Now, a lot of these items are useful in the garden, provided that not chemicals. A lot of times you, you're using, uh, you know, uh, something uh, people say, for example, I have an organic garden. I use ivory soap. I go, lady, ivory soap is toxic. It's a chemical. It's never. Been, you don't have right. an organic garden. So what do you use instead? <laughs> so what I tell people is, look, so it depends what you have. For example, you're talking about Wi-Fi. Okay, so Wi-Fi are just doing their job. They go, you have to understand why they're going after the plant, right? Why they're attacking the plant. It's a traditional deficiency. So if you don't deal with the plant's problem, the Wi-Fi's will come around from the whole neighborhood. Any Wi-Fi, any miles around, they'll go bing over there, <laughs> and they'll go to that tree, to that plant. Mm -hmm. Right. See, right? So you can right. ignore that because you're fine. Because right? lots of things will kill Wi-Fi. For example, garlic. Garlic is a very... This toxic product that kills a lot of insects doesn't hurt bees, but it will kill anything. Any salt-fighting insect, garlic will kill it. It kills mosquitoes. As a matter of fact, they have a product called garlic barrier and another product called mosquito barrier. So garlic by itself, it will kill anything. Uh, I, I tell people, you know, I, one of my books, how to, how to Keep Mosquitoes from Biting You. What you do, you take a garlic clove, you cut it in half, put it in your shoes. Nothing will come in anywhere near you. Mm-hmm. Interesting, yeah. Right, so, so put the garlic, you know, in your shoe, or or maybe plant some garlic in the in the garden. And you actually make sprays out of some things, like with water, and garlic oil, or right, peppermint. So, or you use so like uh, peppermint castile soap so for a lot of things. Is, it looks uh, like. Right. So what I teach is long-term, short-term solutions. See, so the long-term solution is dealing with the cost. Why is that plant getting a trace node deficiency in the first place? You have to figure out what's going on. You have to learn how to use a refractometer, which is a device that tells you the basic energy of the tree. Uh, you, they eventually end up back in the soil. So these are long-term solutions. You can't fix the soil problem anymore. You can right. fix your stomach problem overnight. Long-term solutions. So in the interim, you have these short-term solutions. Things that you can do to help your plant or help yourself until things get better. That's why I've developed all these unique kinds of sprays, which are basically totally safe except that if used correctly, like, for example, uh, so the Wi-Fi scenario, because there are lots of things you can spray. Like the garlic is an easy one to do. You can either make your own garlic, you go to a 99 cent store, you buy crushed garlic, put it in a pantyhose, let it sit in a couple of gallons of water overnight, filter it out the water, there's your garlic spray, it kills the Wi-Fi, it's dead. And since you're, and since you're smart like me, I would say, well, I would add something, some type of trace mineral source in the liquid. So that's why you have compost tea. If you make it right, you should have all the trace minerals in there. You can, eat, you can take a little bit of rock dust, make it into a liquid, and add that to the liquid so you're spraying. Anything you spray on the plant, all you're spraying will be absorbed into the, through the leaves, just like anything that comes in your skin will be absorbed through your skin. You might say we're, we're a dying plant, right? We have foliar spray ourselves. But, so there's things you can spray that, that will, for example, coffee. <laughs> coffee is, the uh, caffeine in coffee is toxic, toxic to a lot of uh, insects, okay? Because it affects their nervous system right away. And so I tell people you can make two batches of coffee, one for you and one for the insects. Mm -hmm. And that's that coffee grind will control snails. You put the coffee grinds in the, in the ground, mix it up. Uh, I tell people coffee beans, <laughs> right? So people have rabbits, deer, all kinds of things coming after yeah. the roses, right? That's that's one of the problems when you have healthy plants, in, uh, insects and, and deers and creatures know it because I'm going to eat that rose because it's got all the trace minerals I need, right? Mm-hmm. Wow. Right, so, well, but the coffee, coffee beans, beans will keep them away. Yeah, coffee is quite the, quite the thing these days, quite the rage, so it gives you all more reason to, to be getting more coffee. It's all good. Um, so, you know, you talked about, you were talking about coffee and, and, and garlic. Now, with garlic, is it, is it important that it's just the raw garlic, or can you use the, um, organic dehydrated garlic uh, powder? Does that, does that also um, work, or is it better to just do raw? No. Because it's the, uh, the sulfur in the garlic oil. So if you dehydrate it, it doesn't have any spending sulfur in it at all. You can, and you gotcha. barely can taste the garlic in it. Ah, uh, okay, perfect. All right, guys. All right, so we have uh, we have three more. Oh, let me see. Yeah, we have two more segments after this one. 
Uh, we're going to have to go to another break. And so we're going to be, um, now I just, just so you all know that the most important thing is, is we got to deal with the underlying problem. That's, that's a given. Uh, so we're going to be hitting more at some of the short-term solutions, uh, with, with, um, with ingredients from your kitchen, from your bathroom, and so forth. Uh, when we come back, so don't go away, we'll be right back. There's a book that makes it so easy to embrace a healthy, gluten-free lifestyle, even kids will like it. Filled with heartwarming stories, food as medicine health tips, easy allergy-free recipes, and creative culinary inventions, the award-winning book, Yum! by Dr. Teresa Nicasio is your source for all of this and more. So make gluten-free living easy, tasty, and fun. Get Yum! plant-based recipes for a gluten-free diet at Amazon.com or visit yumfoodforliving.com. That's yumfoodforliving.com. You have too little time to shop, so try Farm Fresh to you. They deliver organic food the way nature intended, delivered straight to your home or office, economically. Visit our web advertiser page and click on Farm Fresh to you now. When you have a food allergy or dietary limitation, Dr. Teresa Nicasio knows it's hard to give up the foods you love, so she decided to put on her chef hat and give you affordable, personalized culinary consultations that will light up your taste buds. You'll explore substitute ingredients so you can enjoy your favorite foods again. She'll even help you make food preparation easy and guide you on your path to healthy living. And to get started, all you have to do is call 604-445-6463. That's 604-445-6463. If you're not in the U.S., listen up. SureTrader is one of the most trusted and reliable names in share trading. With 6 to 1 leverage and other perks, SureTrade is the best for penny stocks and day trades. To find out more, visit our advertiser page and click on the SureTrader banner. YumFoodForLiving.com is the place to get easy, allergy-free recipes, all free of sugar, gluten, and dairy. But that's not all you'll get when you visit YumFoodForLiving.com. You'll get resources for all kinds of things like wellness articles, videos, podcasts, a blog, all to help you create easy, healthy living. There's even a 50-page downloadable book introducing you to the philosophy of yum. Don't wait. Visit YumFoodForLiving.com. YumFoodForLiving.com. That's YumFoodForLiving.com. Com. HealthyLife.net, the positive radio network. Welcome back. You're listening to the Dr. Teresa Nicasio Show. If you're just tuning in, we have with us today the author of Don't Panic, It's Organic, who is sharing his hot DIY tips for managing pests in your garden and your home um, without the use of any toxic pesticides or other chemicals. Um, all right, guys, this is going to be a really fun segment. We are going to just talk about food. Again, we do a lot of foodie stuff here. Um, what are some of your favorite foods to use in the garden, and, and what do they help to kill or, or manage in the garden? Or, 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 well, or the, so or the, key, the key word there is food. See? Mm -hmm. so, so what we want to do is we want to think of it as food for the plant. Mm -hmm. So for example, I use uh, uh, milk. Milk is food, right? Mm-hmm. Right, so milk, what is milk? What did they tell you to drink milk for? Well, there's a lot of beliefs about milk, so I, I'm not sure where you, where you want to go with that. Calcium. Right. Right? Mm -hmm. They say you drink a lot of milk for your calcium because it does have calcium in it, right? Mm-hmm. Another thing that milk has, so you know how milk goes bad real fast? Mm-hmm. Right, so it has its own special bacteria. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so in the biodynamic system, uh, Rudolf Steiner, I studied it when I was in sixth grade. <laughs> yeah, and you take a stomach of a cow, and in, in that stomach, you would make a mixture of pulses and you bury it. The idea is that the bacteria in the stomach will break down the pulses, and then you use that. So uh, we, we talked about Wi Fi before, and one of the trace minerals that's missing is calcium. Mm -hmm. So by spraying milk, you know, you're actually spraying the calcium. Right, so and that helps to deal with the white flies, right? Right, and right. at the same time, you're spraying the bacteria on it. The white, the white flies don't like that. It's one of the things about compost tea is the bacteria that you're spraying on on the on the on the white flies or whatever insect you're spraying. Uh -huh. Right, right. I never would have. I, did, I even never thought of that before your stuff. Yeah, yeah. So I another thing that's interesting is yeah. uh, 
the photosynthesis of plants. Because I, I, I really, in school, I really liked that part. About, wait a minute, you mean the plants take the light and convert it into food? Cool. Right. right. That and is what very is the cool. food that they convert it into? It's a form of sugar, right? So right. A, a refractometer basically measures, it's called bricks, measures the levels of sugars in plants. So I, I, uh, I was, I've been doing a radio show for a long time, and I talk about energy levels. What I really mean is the bricks level of the plant. Interestingly enough, it's used in making wine, beer, and stuff like that. So, so I said, well, okay, so I started using wine, beer, and those things uh, to feed the, the plants at the same time the alcohol level affects the insects. Mm -hmm. So that's one of the things about using beer, for example. You know, have you ever heard about using beer in plants? Yeah. Right. So, so what, how, does, what is the beer, how does the beer help? Basically, it's a fermented sugar. So you're, what you're doing is you're helping the plant make the sugar that, it's, that it needs. Mm -hmm. And does that right. have any impact on, on certain pests uh, in terms of helping to... Right. So when, right. So when you're... It depends on the plants, whether it's house plants or, or even in the garden when you have uh, lettuce, tomatoes, those things. Usually what happens is that uh, you're doing something wrong, whether you're overwatering, if you didn't make the compost right, the soil's not right. Uh, somehow the minerals are not getting there and, and the process is not happening at the bricks level. And it's, it's low. That's why refractometer, you take a, a measurement of the a, of a lettuce and you look under it, it's 12. And you know it's supposed to be 20, you go, well. And so the, the, hopefully when you're using the beer, for example, use organically grown beer because the idea is anything organically grown will have more trace minerals than the regular chemically grown beer, uh, beer, right? The same thing with uh, milk, organically grown milk, uh, or any uh, other product. That's why I say run to a health food store. You get usually you get a sources of minerals there than if you run to a conventionally grown stuff, which doesn't have the minerals content. Because that's what you, all you're really doing. You're, you're mm -hmm. saying, well, I'm, I'm spraying beer to kill this. No, I'm spraying beer to give it energy. It'll you know, sort the food from the beer. Raises the bricks level, which then controls the bug. So it'll, so it'll help its, it's immune system, if you will. Yeah. What? Yeah. So, so you also talk a lot about oils, sesame oil, chili oil, cinnamon oil, coconut oil. Uh, you right. talk about canola <laughs> oil, garlic oil. Um, God, so many oils. Uh, citronella Guess oil, uh, neem Guess oil. Guess which one I really like the most? Guess which one raises to the top of all the oils? Uh, mm -hmm. Sesame is called uh, burnt sesame oil. Burnt oh, sesame so it's a, the oil. toasted sesame oil. Right, toasted sesame oil. That one is a, absolutely amazing because you, you know it has that toasted burnt taste, smell to it? Mm-hmm. Right, well, that alone, because uh, I've learned from this, uh, you know, when you start dealing with bugs and stuff, you want to figure out, well, what can I do to get the bugs off this plant? Yes, thing, you know, and how, do you, right so, how do you use that toasted sesame oil for that? Right, whether it be you know, something, whether you know, but so the thing in in, in farming, you know, organic farming, for example, they have you know lots of agricultural oils you can buy, and the good old days people would make their own oils. That's what I found interesting. Hundred years ago, what did you do? You make everything yourself. You make your soap, oils you have left over from you killing the animals. You can make oils from lots of different parts of the animals. Uh, so they are, they use that. These, these are standard. I didn't invent this. These are standard things that an organic farmer would use because there's nothing else that they could use. They right. Not, this they is the old way. This is the old natural ways, right? It's, exactly right. So so you can actually. So the oil, what the oil does is suffocate the, the, the bug. It, it, ah. It so the what bugs. kind of bugs does the sesame oil or, or the other oils as well? Uh, what kind of bugs do they uh, suffocate? Well, one way to look at it is anything soft-bodied will affect. But it also will affect. It depends on the oils because you want the oil to be able to seep into the to the uh, the breathing. Most insects don't breathe through their nose and mouth. They breathe through their skin and different apparatus on the body. Mm. You get oil in there, like with mosquito. That's why garlic oil does the same thing. It, it gets in there into their body, and then it, it depends on what type of oil you're using. Garlic, for example, garlic oil has a sulfur in it. So one of the things about understanding what oils you're using, you can actually look it up. What may what you know. Except for canola oil, the corn oil, for example, has certain uh, certain elements in it that work. Usually, every time you're using an oil, the oil suffocates, but the actual product of the oil, was what it's made of, is what actually becomes the inner ingredient that makes it work. 
Mm-hmm. Okay, so oil works on diseases, for example. Perfect for all types of diseases because it coats the disease and suffocates the disease. Any type of rose diseases, right? Any type of diseases on your fruit trees. And the type of oil you use basically you have to do with taste. So if you don't want to taste this, for instance, toast this sesame oil, you can use uh, canola oil, you can use, and then there's essential oils, which I would not even use on fruit trees and vegetables. Keep those limited to, uh, you know, using directly on bugs like on ants and, and termites and things like that, cockroaches, you know, that different than the bugs because if you use the oil too much, you're going to damage the plant. Right, right. All right, guys. Okay, as you can hear, we have tons more. We still have one more, one more segment with this fantastic guest. Um, and obviously you're not going to get all of the details about how to use all these things uh, right now on the show because uh, there's so much, uh, but it gives you a snippet of, of this. Um, so stick around. We'll be right back for more with Awesome Andy. Acidophilus Ultra from New Roots Herbal is your go-to product for great health. To maintain potency, Acidophilus Ultra is protected by a natural water-based enteric coating. This daily probiotic supports your health in so many ways. It helps boost your immune system, aids digestion and bloating, and that's just for starters. So remember the name, Acidophilus Ultra from New Roots Herbal. Get some now. To find a store near you, visit NewRootsHerbal.com. That's NewRootsHerbal.com VMware is a fresh perspective for virtualization on the cloud. Shaping the future, this all in one platform delivers virtual cloud service on any cloud. Visit our HealthyLife.net's advertiser page and click on VMware. When you have a food allergy or dietary limitation, Dr. Teresa Nicasio knows it's hard to give up the foods you love, so she decided to put on her chef hat and give you affordable, personalized culinary consultations that will light up your taste buds. You'll explore substitute ingredients so you can enjoy your favorite foods again. She'll even help you make food preparation easy and guide you on your path to healthy living. And to get started, all you have to do is call 604-445-6463. That's 604-445-6463. For the best in business class travel, count on Cheapo Air. Cheapo Air has the best price guarantee, 24-7 customer service, and easy booking online or by phone. To experience your hassle-free journey, start by going to HealthyLife.net's advertiser page and click on Cheapo Air. There's a book that makes it so easy to embrace a healthy, gluten-free lifestyle, even kids will like it. Filled with heartwarming stories, food as medicine health tips, easy allergy-free recipes, and creative culinary inventions, the award-winning book Yum! by Dr. Teresa Nicasio is your source for all of this and more. So make gluten-free living easy, tasty, and fun. Get Yum! plant-based recipes for a gluten-free diet at Amazon.com or visit YumFoodForLiving.com. That's YumFoodForLiving.com. Radio your way. HealthyLife.net. Welcome back to the Dr. Teresa Nicasio Show. If you've just Joining us now, uh, today we're learning about non-toxic natural ways to deal with and prevent pests in our gardens and our lives. And um, just as a reminder to those of you, if you didn't hear, our, our fantastic guest, Andy Lopez, is he has offered his entire 400-page book that's on um, the ebook for free for anybody who uh, emails him and, and contacts message, uh, men- mentions, I can't speak, mentions the show and that you uh, heard uh, Andy on the show, and we'll also have a, a, the link on the on my website as well, where then we can access it easily. So it'll be um, at TeresaNicasio.com. And just as a as a reminder that that there's a lot of information that Andy's talking about today, and we're looking at the underlying problems for garden and household pets, as well as some. Um, Potentially uh, short-term solutions to help deal with the with the surface, but but the underlying it all is really malnourishment. Is a oftentimes the microbiome, the bacteria, the balance is out of whack, and and so it's really important ultimately to fi- find out what the actual source is. He talks a lot about this in his book. 
He talks a lot about, and that's what the whole book's about, basically, um, and not just for pests, but other things with organic gardening. Um, so as we're talking about more quick fixes, uh, as we come back here, um, you know, keeping it in mind, and it maybe you try something, and that plant or that microbiome says, I don't like that. I don't like that Castile soap, or I don't like that chili oil. I would rather sesame oil, or I'd rather vitamin C or citronella <laughs> oil. Um, so, so you know, let's, 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 let's get down and dirty. There's a couple things that make people crazy, like silverfish, um, moths, uh, in these, even in the house, not just outside in the garden. What are, what are some of the solutions? And again, this is not necessarily getting at the whole underlying reason, because we know the underlying reason is <clears throat> um, that there's some, you know, things are out of balance, out of whack in the garden. Um, but what are some of the things that people can do in their home if they've got silverfish or moths or ants? Are there any special things you recommend? Okay, so there's two things that float up to the top. That, that I want to definitely mention. The first one is Dr. Bronner's soaps. You, mm-hmm. you know who they are, right? That's that Castile soap. Right, Dr. Bronner's. They make lavender, peppermint, almond, eucalyptus, tea tree oil, a whole bunch of them. Well, they're basically an essential oil, but made out of soap made out of essential oil. So you, you, you learn to use that. You use only a tiny amount in water, and you can spray. It'll, it'll control ants. It'll, it'll control anything, any bugs in the house. Not only control but kill it, but mainly what it does is the odor, they'll smell it, and they will just not, not, not so comfortable to be in the house, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can use it around the house. It does a great job on ants. Uh, but the, the trick is to, you, you get a variety of peppermint, it's a lavender, you know, change it up, and that will con- control it. You learn to use it on spiders, you learn to use it on the, on the bad, uh, you know, cucarachas. Uh, and then the other one that you can use is, and so this is totally safe. Remember, it's soap. You don't want to get it in your eyes. You don't necessarily need to drink it, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, so there's another product called Orange TKO. You basically, it's a citrus uh, oil of a citrus, uh, uh, citrus of the citrus leaves. You know, they take they, they break it down. No, the uh, the peel, the citrus peel. It's oh. oil. You ever take the citrus and you squeeze it? That oil. So it's called Orange right. TKO. It's an orange oil. And there's a couple of them on the market which have petroleum to state stillate, but this particular one is totally natural. You only need uh, a drop in a gallon of water, okay? A Just drop a in a bit, gallon yeah. of water. You can spray inside your house, spray outside, do it on a regular basis. Switch back and forth every once in a while. depends on the problem you have, you know. Right. Uh, but, but remember, the, the, the law of cause and effect. So if you have ants, all kinds of things, you have to see why they're coming in here and try to deal with that. Usually you right. very messy. Cleaning up does a wonderful job uh, off the bat of controlling insects. You know, if you, if you may have a water leak, you know, it's as simple as that. Uh, mm-hmm. Cracks and crevices, the, the light brings them in. You know, you have light at night, it brings them in. So you have to deal with that. Mm-hmm. So those are the yeah. two things right off the bat. And the orange, it's orange, it's orange TKO, the letter T, the letter K is in kangaroo, O is an octopus. Um, and, it, you know, just think like if you, if you throw into your, into your uh, garden, uh, like orange peels or, or citrus peels, is that, is that a good thing or does that, um, uh, um acidify well, the garden too much? I don't know if, uh, it would hurt or anything, but what, by, it, it, it could keep, uh, certain creatures away while it's there decomposing, but then it would decompose. So usually I would tell them if you want to, you can use it as a, around the base of plants. So you have yearly plants, you just plant it something, yeah, you put, that around, put it around. Hmm. Uh, and, uh, keeping the uh, snails and creatures that will come and eat it, but they'll smell that first. Uh, but it, it, it's, uh, so it's better to actually put it in your compost and compost it up, you know. I wouldn't worry about trying to get the grind, the oil. I tried that myself, you know, cutting up and making the oil. It's easier to just go buy the oil and somebody do it for you. So, and also there's a variety of other things in the market, but the vinegar works really good. Uh, I tell people, look, you're having a problem indoors, you can't handle any chemicals. Hot water does a wonderful job of killing all kinds of things. It kills them on contact from the heat. They don't like the heat, right. Take, take right, spray. Uh, that kills Wi-Fi. You can go up to a plant and spray hot, boiling hot water on the plant. It won't hurt the plant at all. Hmm. Use it on your hand. You'll see. You'll feel the heat, but it won't burn you. Mm-hmm. That's great. 
Um, and you mentioned also things like baking soda and Epsom salts. I mean, those are things and, and crushed onions. Um, you know, those, um, especially a baking soda. I've never thought of using baking soda in the garden or, or around well, baking things. Baking soda is a common organic uh, gardener solution to a variety of diseases. And uh, that attack from sooty molds, you have, you know, all kinds of rose diseases, uh, it's baking soda. So you only need one tablespoon and a gallon of water and you spray it. But what the baking soda does is bicarbonate of soda reacts with the, the acidic uh, nature of disease. Most diseases are acidic. So you have an alkaline acidic, you get a natural reaction. That's why milk is also good because it's alkaline. Mm-hmm. Spray it on, onto a, an acidic environment to cancel each other out. So it, it almost destroys the, the bacteria of the disease, which needs a certain acidic environment to grow in. Interesting. And Epsom salts. Uh, I've heard a lot of people using Epsom salts in the garden. And, and again, those of you listening right. may or may not have, have heard of that. So, you know, uh, what are your easier. favorite uses of Epsom salts? That, that's magnesium. So I tell people, look, I uh, wouldn't go into just using Epsom salts to fix because you could overdo the magnesium. Uh, if you mm-hmm. heat into rock dust or you heat into organic fertilizer, they'll have a certain, the right amount of magnesium. People tend to use too much magnesium. You only need one tablespoon per gallon of water for the magnesium. To, okay, good to, to know. The plants what they need. All right. Well, you know, folks, unfortunately, we have to go. Thank you so much, Andy, for being on the show. And thank I you love all. It. Oh, wonderful. Thank you, all of you, for listening and tuning in today. Be sure to join us next time when we have Catherine Kellogg for the next two times um, talking about um, uh, having sustainable and waste free holidays. Um, I want to have a spe- give a special thank you again to our, uh, our sponsor, New Roots Herbal, for making this show pos- possible. And if there's any questions about anything, be sure to just go to the TeresaNicasio.com website. There's links for our guests and all kinds of goodies and, and free wellness resources and gardening resources and such uh, that you can find there. I'm Teresa, and this has been the Dr. Teresa Nicasio Show. Until next time, have a great week. There's a book that makes it so easy to embrace a healthy, gluten-free lifestyle, even kids will like it. Filled with heartwarming stories, food as medicine health tips, easy allergy-free recipes, and creative culinary inventions, the award-winning book, Yum! by Dr. Teresa Nicasio, is your source for all of this and more. So make gluten-free living easy, tasty, and fun. Get Yum! plant-based recipes for a gluten-free diet at Amazon.com. Or visit yumfoodforliving.com. That's yumfoodforliving.com. When you have a food allergy or dietary limitation, Dr. Teresa Nicasio knows it's hard to give up the foods you love, so she decided to put on her chef hat and give you affordable, personalized culinary consultations that will light up your taste buds. You'll explore substitute ingredients so you can enjoy your favorite foods again. She'll even help you make food preparation easy and guide you on your path to healthy living. And to get started, all you have to do is call 604-445-6463. That's 604-445-6463. HealthyLife.net, where positive overcomes negative.